Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be covering quite a bit of red content. We'll be covering uh, from flaws 22 to 27. So there are 4 normal flaws and 2 red dragons. Okay, And these red dragons are really really tough. So first we'll be looking at flaw 22. So here we have a J uh, who has reflect but uh, I don't think that will be a big issue. Nonetheless, we are going to bring our Dylan's because he is an anti-reflect uh, hero. So just swapping out Elisha for Amelia as well and going through our hero's equipment. Teo has double speed, double counter, willful ring with electrify, doesn't matter. Counter rate increase, life steal, debuff resistances, doesn't matter. Um, exclusive item, doesn't matter I think. Eileen, double HP, willful ring, uh, some... Damage jewels increase, but doesn't matter as well. No trace, no exclusive item for Ace. Speed attack, HP. Gave him a lifesteal jewel. Uh, no traits, exclusive item unlocked. Amelia, double one speed, one lethal. Uh, double HP. Willful ring. Debuff resist, cooldown immunity, and increase awakening charge speed. Uh, debuff resist traits and exclusive item unlocked. PvP oriented uh, setup. For Dylan's only one HP armor, critical damage increase with life steal and uh, lethal damage crit damage. No special traits, exclusive item is unlocked. Okay, so with that, we will attempt uh, Floor 22. Okay, but first, Masteries. So these are my Masteries. I'm going to change uh, page 4 Masteries to single uh, to increase for offensive and magical targets and also to single uh, AOE targets, 5 man AOE damage increase. So uh, Tio is in the back line, he's, he'll do crazy amount of damage and he has two 5 man AOE attacks so he will be able to help you clear all these mobs super quickly. So Tio being a backliner in this case is very very... Uh, Game changing. Even his awakened skill is five man LE, so not to worry at all. Okay, so this is this was very easy. Floor twenty two clear. Next, we move on to floor twenty three. Floor twenty three is also similar. This time we have Ares in the in the mob. Non-awakened areas, so should shouldn't be too difficult. Again, uh, we'll be using Tio as backliner with both his five man AOEs. So actually, Ares was killed by the Wild Fury and not entirely by the Corvus. Here goes Talent Strike. Okay, very fast work by Tio. Awaken skill. Ares is really no track here. Okay. 
So for our first raid boss in this video, he decreases physical damage received by 70%, removes buff, burns, and uh, reduces your buff duration, reduce the recovery rate, okay? So um, here we have to use Spina because the boss reduces physical damage. So over here you have in her traits increase, crit increase lethal. If you want you can change it to increase damage against universal because the Don't dragon is universal. It is has double so speed, double HP. This is currently I've recorded this during the Dark Crown Prince era, so this is this are the equipment is as such. So then is Atalanta. Atalanta is very very important for raid bosses. No traits, no exclusive items, no, not even weapons and armor. Next I'll be keeping Amelia, I think. Uh, then I will substitute Dylan's with Rachel, double speed, um, double HP, little red trait. And of course, you need her exclusive item. So masteries, you need to swap it to magic. In uh, swap it up to single target AOE. You can swap it to universal hero as well for level one one five. I didn't do that in this video. So I'm going to use Aries's skill first. Note that if Ares has higher speed attack, which she rightfully should, I think Rachel doesn't need higher speed attack than Ares, then Ares will get her awakened um, passive skill up even faster. Then you don't even have to use Blaze. So Spina is going to really do a lot of damage. Yeah, this is quite a bit. I think this is really really fast already. I remember the time when uh, you know Spina wasn't even released. Everyone, okay, like maybe 90% of the people was was were stuck at this level. Because it was just so impossible to beat. Yep, so that's it. You just have to spam Spina skills uh, after the two Rachels and Eris's buff is up. So now we are on to 425. Uh, we are back with our Tio um, lineup. Eileen, Ace, Amelia, Dylan's because there is uh, there is Jave and Rin. Okay, so uh, once again, um, Tio is very useful in removing Rin's shields. So while Fury killed Rin right there, I didn't do anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna use Corvus here instead of uh, Aces Blossom Strike, which I tend to do because I want Wild Fury to trigger, like in this case. Then I'll use Blossom Strike. To remove green shields completely. So I'm trying not to waste Tio's skills actually, because in case in the last round I have to spam his skills, so I'm trying to use other skills to kill off the enemies. So here I'm using Carvers, uh, saving it for this stage because of Rin. So Wild Fury kills Jade again, which is timely. So finally, I really just need Rin's shields to go, so I use Aces a uh, single target before I can really finish her off with uh, Tio. But you see. Uh, with Rin, if you do not bring B Dam, then this is the problem. 
he, she changes your formation and then your tail is not in the back line and may not be strong enough to do enough damage but nonetheless uh, it's all fine here so moving on to floor 26 I will be switching out because there's rain again I'll be switching out the lens with Bidam Bidam provides immunity to to formation and position changes So even though Bildam is not in the back liner, uh, for raid for raid mobs, uh, he's totally fine. Le double lethal double counter, and all the little crit damage and damage to reflect immunity. Um, exclusive item is unlocked. So I'm using Talon Strike here first. Yep. To just trigger Wild Fury on Ares. And also to trigger all the other Wild Furies uh, when Tio hits the, sh the Nullify block. Then uh, for the for this round, I will use Blossom Strike because I want to save Kyo's covers for the last stage. Again, I'm using Talon Strike to put the Nullify block. This kills off Rin with because of the Wild Fury effect and Bidam's 3 man target easily kills the tiny dragons in the front row. So finally I'm gonna use Corvus. This removes 10 of Rin's shields. Even Kyo's Awakened skill removes a lot of her shields. Yep, so there's no formation change uh, right here after she uses her dragon skill. So as you can see, Bijam is uh, useful in this aspect. Even as a support hero. Kyo easily counters and kills Rin. Okay, so that was floor 26. Now we're moving on to the final dragon raid for this video, floor 27. So this dragon reduces magic damage received by 70%, okay? Removes buffs and freezes. And uh, decrease recovery rate, reduce buff duration by 3 turns for when he uses his earthquake. Okay, so since he reduces magic damage, you cannot use Bina. Most people will have Snipper already equipped, so I'm gonna try using Snipper. And I'm gonna equip my Lethal Damage and Crit Damage jewels on him instead of the cooldown increased immunity. Swapping out the Burn Resist jewel for my Life Steal and Crit Damage uh, accessory. I don't think I have enough armor to put on him, so I'm just gonna go in with this setup. Uh, Amelia is there to prevent the freeze and uh, Rachel and uh, Iris are of course the support heroes to buff Snipper's damage. So Atalanta as well, you need her to nullify all the 5-man AoE attacks the dragon's gonna sh cast at you. So using this skill gets my Aries's Awakened Passive up. And I'm trying to get my Snipper's Awakened Passive up as well to boost his attack by 100%. So it's actually a very very time consuming match. But uh, I don't really want to 
speed it up too much. Because otherwise, I think it will feel quite annoying. <laughs> so if you want, you can just skip a little bit forward, you know, to check when the match actually ends because I'm actually going to do two runs of this, okay? The next run, uh, you'll see what, what I changed in the lineup. Basically, I'm just um, trying to cast Aerys' skill so that no, yeah, in this case, she will tr she will do an additional attack, and hopefully, I can uh, sneak in more snippers wild shots. Again, try to take note of Aries's speed attack, so you know when she's gonna use her speed attack, and then uh, you can prepare for a wild shot. So half, I think it looks like we're halfway there. Oh, the dragon does huge damage to Aries, and I'm not sure if uh, she's going to really live. Because as you can see, I don't have a healer. Because Aries is very low on HP, she might die. <laughs> okay, she's dead. Um, I'm gonna yeah. So that's so I'm gonna do another round. This time, I'm going to bring in our red specialist Shane. So um, yes, it's very uh, resource and topaz heavy to uh, unequip snipper and put everything back on Shane. I'm just gonna try to find any duplicates I have and put them on Shane. I know that there are um, top tier raid players, okay, that actually have even given Shane special traits in order to boost her damage in raid. So if you are thinking of fighting for timing and getting the ranking, then that is something you can consider. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna do it in this video because uh, I want to ensure that. Whatever I am putting in this video will be applicable to most players, okay? So basically, I'm just shifting Snipper's stuff onto Shane, back to Shane, um, and then not even giving her armor, just the little, two little weapons for maximum damage, also not giving her any traits. So if you guys want to see um, how Shane performs in the level 30 rate, I'm going to do that in the next video. So do stay tuned for it. Okay, once again, see in this case, Aries goes first. So we want to attack her awakened passive is up. Then I'm going to use Lina to boost damage and uh, physical attack because I don't have Rachel in this case. So I need Lina's... Uh, Actually, I need Nila's, Lina's damage boost. So I don't know why I healed here, but just, just a misplay. <laughs> so you want to get Shane's Awakened form up as soon as possible and then start spamming her skills every time they are available. In Young Melody from Lina actually doesn't affect Shane. So uh, if you're thinking of using that, to boost Shane's damage, don't bother. So once again, as you can you can tell the difference immediately, right? From snip the snipper video and this. Shane is the one true raid DPS. I love seeing her do damage. And I honestly cannot wait for her Myth Awakening. If you haven't seen the Myth Awakening, do just, you know, do a Google, do a YouTube search and check out her Myth Awakening Korean server. So 
So she's ending the battle really quickly already. Probably with one more hit. That's it. Okay, so that was really fast. Okay, so Shane is probably the preferred DPS for your uh, level 27 rate and definitely your level 30 rate. Okay, so I hope uh, you guys benefited and uh, learned something from this video on raid. Um, towards the end, the raid bosses get really difficult and tough to fight. So do make sure you have the appropriate DPS and uh, all the best in completing your raid levels. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.